In a bold move, Botswana's members of parliament MPs have vehemently opposed the proposed travel agreement with Zimbabwe, which would allow citizens of both nations to cross borders using national identity cards instead of passports. The announcement by Zimbabwean President Emerson Umingabwa during his recent visit to Botswana sparked public outrage and concern among legislators. While Botswana already has a similar arrangement with Namibia, lawmakers clarified that extending such privileges to Zimbabwe is met with strong resistance. The Minister of Labor and Home Affairs, Anna McGethy, addressed the issue in Parliament amidst growing public backlash stating that no signed agreement was in place to implement the proposed initiative. McGethy emphasized, I wish to clarify this statement and set the record straight that there is no signed agreement to effect this initiative. She reassured the citizens that the concept appreciated by the two leaders did not automatically grant the use of IDs for cross-border travel. McGethy outlined a series of processes and procedures including the adoption of regulatory standards and the establishment of a memorandum of agreement with exit clauses, before any implementation could take place. Opposition leader Dithapilo Kirapets expressed surprise at President Masisi's decision, criticizing the lack of consultation with relevant stakeholders. We don't know who President Masisi was representing when he reached this agreement with Mningagawa or the government of Zimbabwe. Kirapets remarked, MP Winter Malazzi raised concerns about the potential repercussions, particularly in border areas where resources are strained due to an influx of Zimbabweans. Malazzi pointed out that the health system in Francistown, a city near the border, is already overburdened, and unrestricted travel could exacerbate the situation. Questions about the practicality of using machine-readable identity cards instead of passports and concerns about potential bureaucratic complications were raised by MPs like Unity Dow. Some legislators suggested prioritizing passport-free travel agreements with countries like South Africa and Zambia before considering such arrangements with Zimbabwe. The proposed scrapping of passport requirements between Botswana and Zimbabwe has drawn attention to the economic challenges in Zimbabwe prompting many citizens to seek opportunities in neighboring countries. The potential agreement, if implemented, would primarily benefit Zimbabweans who have long sought refuge from their country's struggling economy.